buddy. I'm gonna pull up my pattern here really quick. And I'll get to work on the keychain. Hope everybody is having a great morning. So, I know originally I was going to stream at night time. Well, I found out that it doesn't work out very well with my kiddo. Uh, the day she has school, she tends to slack off on her homework sometimes, unfortunately, no matter what I try. And it ends up sometimes going into streaming things. Now, I will be doing nighttime streams once a week still. So, um, I'm gonna start trying to do them on Sundays. And then during the weekdays while Ember is at school, I am going to be doing morning streams. Three days a week. So the new schedule is going to be, I'll be posting it later on today. It'll be Sunday nights and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday mornings. That way I have Monday to recuperate from the nighttime stream and I have the weekend to spend with the family. And I just realized these beans are in the way of the deal. Hi beef kitty. There is a kitten in the vicinity, so we may get interrupted by a kitten at some point. I'm a little on the rambunctious side today. Keeps getting up on the lizard tank. But he has learned when I tell him to get down to get down. Surprised. He won't do it if my husband tells him. But he will if I tell him. Crash down. Oh boy. Oh, now you're going to look all cute. Mm -hmm. You're going to look all cute with the big old Russian song. I know, there's just a big old lake. I think there's a squirrel outside kind of taunting him right now, too. He keeps looking outside and flicking his tail and running into the windows. I did change a few things in the channel this morning. So we got some different alerts now. I finally fixed the break time timer. Hopefully this time it doesn't cut out like it did the last time. Oh, 
Well, it should be okay. I was going to stream yesterday morning as well. But we had very high winds in the area. And I kept knocking the internet out. Um, I figured it out before I even started stream because we were trying to watch TV and it just kept cutting out constantly. Um, that's kind of what started the Sunday night stream. So, but it worked out good because I think it's going to be a good schedule to follow. Okay, so I'll get the new schedule posted up later on this afternoon. I do have it all made already, I just need to post it. Raina is currently in the living room. I don't know if she'll come in here today. She seems like she just wants to sleep. Maybe later on during the day she'll come in and hang out. But the kitten is in here with me. He's currently laying in the window next to his keyboard. to be a beaded keychain. I'm almost towards the end of it actually. Hoping maybe I can get it done tonight. This one is a custom order, so it is not going to be posted up on the website for sale, because it is already in the works for someone else.
But I do have some ideas for some other heated keychains that I'm going to post in the website at some point. I got lots of different projects I want to work on for that. We do have a couple of new items. Well, one very new item, which is some wallet sets. Currently, there's two of them, but I do have plans for making more. And the wallet sets come with a wallet, keychain, and a coin bag. I can show you guys what they look like here in a minute. Once I finish this row up, I'll get those and show you. did put a new pen up in the dis- well, not in the discord <laughs> up on the website it is a fox pen and that one's currently up on the website as so. well I have plans to work on some dice bags at some point. I don't. I'm gonna do both crochet ones and um, fabric ones. So, like, sewing on a sewing machine one. I'll go get those wallet sets that I've made very quick. Show face. Oh, yes. <laughs> Also got some new fabric keychains up on the website too. I'm gonna show you those. So the first wallet set I did was this here. So it's got on the front of the wallet and on the keychain, got this really pretty like moon, stars, clouds, sparkly too. I don't know if you can see the sparkles, but try and see if we can. There we go. You can kind of see the sparkles on it, but the fabric's very sparkly. So if you open up the wallet, I left a little extra room so that way when this gets full it's so easy to open and close. And that's what the inside looks like. For that wallet, it's also got 
galaxy animals on it. So if you look up closely, pictures of the animals have like a galaxy star design on them. So that was the first wallet set. You need to label these at some point. Just trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. Then the other one I have currently this really beautiful blue and gold set. So it's got on the keychain, it's got these two fabrics, this one here, this gold fabric is on the inside of the keychain, and then I got the blue fabric on the outside of it, and then that's the coin bag, and they just open up by drawstrings there. That. Very easy to open and close, and there's the strap that's got a little bit of extra room. So while it fills up, and here is the inside of the wallet. They've got pockets on either side, plus little card slot holders. There's those. And like I said, I had to figure out how to get these wrapped up together. Got those done, and then this one, yes. And then this is the new box, and that I did. All the pens that I make come with the pen, and the pens are refillable, so that way you can the art without having to figure out how to transfer it to a new pen or anything like that. In this way no art is lost. She can still refill the pen. Oh yeah, the fabric keychains I did, they're all the galaxy animals. I got three of those ones. Those are the new fabric keychains. I've been hard at work on stuff. The keychain that I am beading is this really pretty rose keychain here. It's all made out of beads. Oh. Yeah, thank you for coming in. Is it G. Arnold or is there anything else you would like me to call you instead? Thank you. Been working really hard on this. It is a custom order. Do you know the sign? Alrighty. Do you do any art or anything?
And if you see a random fuzzy thing flash across the screen, that would be my kitten. He's being taunted by a squirrel by the window over here currently. His name is Cash. I was just seeing if you did any kind of arts or crafts at all. That's awesome. My husband wants to get into um, scale mail and chain mail. I tried my hand at it, but I wasn't very successful with it. But my husband decided he wanted to try it, and I think it's something he'd be really good at. Oh, I love watching poly clay art. Jar art. That sounds interesting. If you want to um, drop a link to her channel, you can. I'll check it out later. Mini snow globes. Awesome. Yes, links are allowed. I didn't turn them off yet because nobody's abused them yet, so. And I will definitely go and check her stuff up later. Let me get it. Put it up on here. I'll send her a follow so I can watch her streams later. Thank you. Yeah, I found that the other day at um, one of our local craft stores and I'm like, that matches the aesthetic in my craft room perfectly. I just got all the colors that I have currently in my craft room. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. I hope that sound alert worked. I just set those ones up today. I switched from my old sounds to these new ones. But I can always fix them later on if they're quiet. So far, my favorite piece. It's actually a couple of pieces. I've got these two dragons. They're part of a carousel series. My friend Serenadia taught me how to make these and I saw these beads. They reminded me of the horses that are on like merry-go-rounds. Yes, I did say Serenadia. <laughs> oh, but yeah, these reminded me of the carousel horses, so I designed them to look like that.
Yes, we love Saren here as well. I believe she might be currently streaming at the moment too. Not sure what she's making today though. <laughs> yeah, I usually am over there watching her. Ooh, she's making the purple amethyst dragon today. I'll have to go check that out later. And if you're wondering why I'm separating some of the white beads, I accidentally bought matte white beads instead of the opaque white beads. And I mixed the matte ones in with my opaque beads. <laughs> And the opaque ones go on the keychain. They're on the keychain, but the matte ones don't. So I've been working on slowly getting them out. <laughs> yes, they can be pretty easy to confuse. Um, that's why you'll see me kind of like run my finger along them like that. Because the matte ones can have a rougher texture. Whereas the other ones are kind of smooth, but with my lamp up here, it's easier to see the shine on the ones that go on the keychain. So when I'm working here at my desk, it's easier to tell because I have the light to show me which ones are shiny and which ones aren't. Then if I were to take this to the living room, it's really hard to tell which ones are which. But I figured it would be easier to sort them while working on the piece than it would be to just dump them and sort them. Because there's so many of them. Thankfully, I got the system down though, so it's not too bad. If I can't tell what it is, I just run my finger along it if it makes a scratching type noise and it's most likely a mat feed. I also have a puppy that, well, she's not a baby puppy, but she's always a puppy to me. <laughs> um, she's about five years old though, but I do have a dog. Her name is Raina. She comes in here occasionally, but today she's kind of on the tired side. So, <laughs> I don't know if she's going to come in here and grace us with her presence or not. There's a chance she might, though. Um, sometimes you'll see her come in here and stick her nose under my arm. So then you'll see my arm kind of jerk up like that. Because she's trying to get my attention. Quite funny when she does that too.
Sometimes both animals like to cause havoc in here. Cash will come and just interrupt everything. Or Raina will try to jump up. Her front paws up on the desk. So there's times when we get some shenanigans from the animals in here. The cat has also stepped on my keyboard and typed messages to everybody. He actually did that the other day. An interesting fact about my cat, he is named after a Critical Role character. We also used to think that Cash was a girl. Later on, we found out he was actually a boy. When we found him, he was only about five, maybe six weeks old. Um, somebody had dumped him and his siblings. And it was like they literally just started weaning when they got dumped, so they weren't very old. All of them have found homes, though. Um, but yeah, we thought Cash was a girl at first. Then he got bigger and we realized he was a boy. So we changed his name from Kima to Cash. Lately, he has been very talkative, so you'll see, hear him going like in the background and just all kinds of meowing. He likes it when I talk back to him. When he was a really little baby, that's how he used to find out where I was, if he could not find me. He would cry until I answered him. If anybody has any artwork they want to show you, you can either put a link to the artwork in the channel as long as it's PG or work appropriate. Um, 
I keep my stream kind of family from friendly just because when my kiddo is home there is always a chance that she will walk in here she's not home currently but i still like to keep the stream family safe um. Family friendly, I should say. I do have spots in my Discord though for any artwork that you want to share that is not safe for work. There is a specific channel in the Discord for that. To find the Discord, you just type in exclamation point find me. And the link is right in my Koji with all my other socials. <coughs> Where did I put my cutter? <coughs> mm. Apparently I don't have the lid on my water bottle too. I just dumped a whole bunch of water all over me. Darn it. Oh well. squirrel that keeps running back from this window over to the window over here back and forth that he keeps watching. The birds are also starting to come out too so he's watching those as well. We've got about five minutes left before break comes up. I do a break every hour on the hour for a couple minutes just to get through the unfortunate ads so that we don't have to worry about them playing in the middle of the stream and anybody missing anything. I do put words on stream up during break times. And I usually suggest to do a little bit of self care during that time. That way you don't have to worry about whatever ads play. Now, if anybody does get an ad in the middle of the stream, if they could let me know. That way I can look into that later on and fix it. I much appreciate it.
think I'm going to look and see what the temperature of the house is when we're going back to because it is getting a little toasty in my bathroom. But the heater is also right underneath my desk. It's blowing directly on me. Right now I'm just weaving in this tail thread. That way, that's already done and I can start. And the other part. That's the keychain. We're almost to the end of this keychain. If I finish this before the four hours the stream is up, then I will I'll probably pull out the diamond painting and work on that some. Because I only got like a little section left of that. Depends on how much we got left of that. Depends on how much we have left to stream whenever I finish this. If we have quite a while left, then I will pull out a different project. Ouch. Okay, I just kind of stabbed myself with the straw. <laughs> no blood though, we're good. <laughs> I'll move my coffee over there that way I don't hurt my arm again. If anybody is wondering what Crafty Dan is, it is a community over competition event. Oh, it's going to feature all kinds of vendors. It's from March 3rd, March 5th. We'll be doing a raid train on March 3rd and March 4th. You do not have to stream to participate in the event. You can still be a vendor for the event without streaming. I myself have done that a couple of years. This year I plan to stream. Or at least hoping so. Um... The applications for the event close tomorrow. So if anybody else would like to participate, definitely get those applications in today, if possible. The theme is Surfing the Wild. You can join the event by going to a craftydayin.com. You can also find our Discord there and all of our other socials, I believe, are on there as well.
And if anybody has any questions about the event, I am one of the organizers, along with something else, Graceful Dawn, Serenadia, and Sleeping Luna. But if you have any of us, any of the questions, um, we also do have our email listed right on the website, so... And it is now break time.
would be unfair. Oh shoot. Back to refresh the bed timer. Okay. So, the doggy zoom in here. Oh, of course, the cat is going to pick on her. I know. Pull it out. I know the cat's picking on her. Pull it out. Oh, you that laid out. I know you're being good, girl. There we go. The cat likes to pick on Raina quite a bit. So. Last time I was here, I told you guys that I had revamped the website, so I thought maybe I would show you guys what it looks like. Let me get over to the right screen here. Hey Glenn, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Getting ready to show the new website. Here is the new website. That is much more simplified. It's simple. My goodness, I cannot talk today. It is much more simple than what it used to be. I am doing great today. How are you doing? Just sat, sat down for breakfast? What are you having for breakfast? If you don't mind me asking. So I'm going to go through the new web page here. We got the home page here, which has the about me section. Oops, what did I do? Did not mean to do that. Sorry about my little. Here. And then you got so it's got like a divider here. And then there's an area to see all the new stuff that I added. Hoodies with the logo now. We got tumblers. We got the box pen. And I hope you're having a good day today, Glenn. I don't know if you heard me or not. I did. Yes, I did update my new site. Or update my site. I switched from Squarespace over to Fourth Wall. And these are all the new updates I've made. And then it's got like my Instagram page. You can see the most recent posts here. And if you scroll down a little bit more, it's got the stream schedule, which I need to post the new one today. And it's also got a donation page, which, you know, of course, I appreciate donations but they are not necessary by any means but I do appreciate them if anybody does send them I mainly use those to update the stream and stuff like that and then if you go 
over here to shop. If you click on shop, it shows all of the products on one page. Totally understand, Glenn. Take your time. And then over here, we've got where you can see the individual things here. And I have them all in alphabetical order. So like if you want specifically bracelets and inklets, click that one. Got the dragons on there. Got bookmarks, earrings, the fish I just started making recently. They're similar to the dragons, but they are beaded fish. Kind of like what they look like there. Realize how blurry that picture is. I might have to retake those pictures later. And then you got options of how you want the item. And it's also got the link to the pattern if you want to try to make your own. Got you know, the merch and more page. So right now it's just got the hoodie and the temple are on it. But I plan to put more on there eventually. <clears throat> We've got you know, the moon wire wraps that I do. Which eventually I'll have more of that stuff on there as well. Holidays right now. I have Valentine's Day stuff up. Um, I don't think I have any St. Patrick's Day stuff currently. So I might have to make some of that stuff soon. I know that's coming up soon. I need to make some Easter stuff soon as well. Maybe we'll do those on a stream at some point. These are the new wallet sets that I was talking about earlier. Um, we only got two up there currently, but I have fabric and plans to make other wallet sets. What I'm going to try to do is all the wallets that I make, I'm going to try my best to make them in a set. If I only have enough fabric for just the wallet or just the keychain, then that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try my best to at least have one set if I can't make more of it. Well, it just depends on the size of the fabric I get and if I can get more of it and all those kinds of things. That is what the new website looks like. I did update the logo as well. I found out that the other letters that I was using for the logo was not free to use. <clears throat> I changed it up a bit. Go back to the page here. And we're going to work some more on the keychain. Unless somebody has anything that they would like to share art wise, and then I can share that. Either share it in the Discord, or you can share a link. And I've got it on the screen.
working keychain here. Ouch. What the heck did I just do? Apparently I just scratched myself on my computer by accident. It happens. Welcome back. Anybody else wants to look more closely at the website, by the way, here's that. I might go over it again later on in the stream. Still got about three miles, I think. Thank you. This one's a custom order, so. We have about two and a half hours left of stream. <clears throat> so I might go over the website again later on if anybody wants to. Yeah, this one is a custom order that I'm working on. I'm going to make some other ones eventually to put on the website too. Um, if I finish this one before the end of stream, then I'll probably do my diamond painting. Or, depending on how much time we have, I might work on another beaded keychain design but that requires me going into the beadographer app and doing that there because i don't have another pattern currently and why is this not wanting to wait there we go are you working on anything today, Glenn? Oh, the dog did decide to grace us with her presence in here. So, anybody would like to, we do have treat readings for both the cat and the dog in the channel points. I did add at least one new cha channel point today. That sounds nice. Do you know what you guys will be having or? Is it a surprise? Hopefully you guys get a good turnout and everything goes smoothly. Mac and cheese is always good. Wondering what the cat was doing for a minute because he was making an awful lot of noise but he's eating the wet food that I gave him this morning. 
some reason he keeps begging for the wet food but doesn't want to eat it. I don't know what's going on with that. <clears throat> Definitely good to be prepared just in case. If you guys are wondering why I'm pausing every so often, so that I can mark the pattern so I don't lose where I'm at. Totally understand that one. I would definitely get bags of ice rather than worrying about making ice all day. We got to pull out dinner for the night, but I can figure something out later. Last night we had chicken tacos. The night before that, I made a roast. That was pretty good. My little one, however, does not care for roast, so I had to make her something completely different. Um, she did eat the sides that we had, just not the main meat of the meal. And usually what I do is have her try it. If she does not like it, then I let her replace one thing in the meal. Because I usually try to have at least something in there that she does like already, whether it be a side or the main portion. And as long as she eats her main portion, she's Good to go. go. I hope it works out well for you. Let me know if it holds up. Or if there's any changes I should make for feature ones. Beatsy, are you okay? You get almost fell off of my chair. I mean, a girl will lay down, honey. You have uh, one of the fabric keychains, right, Gwen? Um, I think it's about to. Let me double check that. It's March 3rd through the 5th. Yep, about two weeks left now. Let me see if my command is on there. Yep. Okay, I'm going to have to fix that command for some reason it is not working. I'm wondering if I have too many names for it.
Well, hopefully you can find something that does. I am able to make them um, from the fabric if you're looking for something like that. I just tend to not make them that long, usually. But I can if need be. Wonder. Let me see if this works. Nope, still doesn't work. Um. Are you talking about the hooks? Or the, yeah, the hooks. I can send you a link to the ones that I get later if you would like me to. Understand that. Just let me know later if you don't find someone I can send you that information. Just keep me updated, we'll figure something out. about a half an hour before break. <clears throat> um, so the break timer that I have right now is about nine minutes off. So I'm going to keep an eye on the actual time and once it hits the hour mark I will be putting the break timer on. Will you two quit? <laughs> Raina, cash. Totally understandable. No fun losing your shoes. Oh, don't you start crying at me. You're the one who started it. <laughs> if anybody hears the cat crying, he's mad at me because I just sprayed him with the water bottle because he was doing things he wasn't supposed to do. So now he's mad. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. That's why I like the keychains that clip because it's less likely to lose them that way.
I use mine to clip them onto my purse or my belt loop if I don't have a purse that day. Wings and teeth down an elevator shaft is definitely not good. Enjoy your work, Glenn. Or your lurk. Not work. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy your lurk. I hope you have a good day. I appreciate you stopping in. If my fan in the background is on too loud, please let me know and I turn it off. We think the fan might be getting loose and that's why it's making that noise. Oops. Eventually, we plan to update all of the fans in the house because most of them shake and they kind of make me nervous when they do that. Eventually, we have plans to update all of them. But for right now, we just keep them on low and keep an eye on them. If they tend to shake too much, we just turn them off. Okay. <laughs> 
thought I messed up there for a minute, but I didn't. We have about 20 more minutes before break. The timer is about 9 minutes fast because I forgot to restart it. <coughs> the last time. So I'll be starting the break about when the break timer hits the 9 minute mark. Maybe a little bit before. Okay, so far I've made it through the stream without poking my fingers. Come in, girl, you sighing over there. Trina's sitting on her bed. Picture her good view of her for you. And there she is. There's the rain of puppy. She was laying there pouting a minute ago, but she's been a very good girl. Might have to give her a free TREAT later. If she continues to be good. introduction and I don't think I've done it all yet today. Um, so for anybody that might be lurking that's new or just coming in, my name is Bequad, but you can also call me B BK because it's a little bit easier. Um, I am a multi-crafter. Mainly do beadwork on stream, but I am trying to um, go a little bit more variety of the stream. So you should see some new things other than just beading. Now this week, let's see, what do I have planned? Actually, I'm willing to go on break a little bit early. Apparently I have to use the restroom. So, we're going to go on break a bit early. I will be back to tell you what we're going to be doing this week on the stream and all that other fun stuff.
Welcome back to everybody from break. In the kitchen. I don't know if it's to be. Yeah. Just so everybody knows, there might be some tippy tappies on the keyboard by accident. She's literally right in the window by the keyboard. <laughs> so if you see random letters in the chat, it's just the cat. <laughs> He likes to say hi sometimes. Currently, there is a squirrel taunting him. Anybody's just popped in while we were on our little break there? Hello, my name is BK. I am a multi-crafter here on Twitch. I'm currently working on a beaded keychain. I usually do bead work a lot on stream, but I am working on incorporating other projects. Um, I will go over the new schedule here in a little bit. But we finally figured out our permanent schedule for a while. Now the hours may change once I start doing the schooling for work from home stuff. But until then we are going to be doing Sunday nights from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. or later if it's possible. Um, just depends on how long I'm able to stay up really. Like this weekend, my daughter doesn't have any school on Monday, so if I can stay up past one, I plan to stay up past one. Um, and then Mondays we will have off, that way I can get a little bit of a break in between switching from the nighttime stream to the daytime streams. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We will be doing our daytime streams from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. That way I have enough time to eat a little bit of something before I go get my kiddo. But I still have time to spend with you guys on Twitch as well. Once I finish up this row, I will pull up this week's schedule, that way we can see exactly what we're doing and we know what's going on.
brake timer is now accurate, so we got that all straightened out. Ooh. And you need paper. And if you're wondering why I am putting some of these 